Hey everybody and welcome back to Marvel Champions Experience. Remember, I would always appreciate if you consider liking the video. If you truly enjoy what you're seeing, please, please, please subscribe. And as always, drop a message down in the comments below. Let me know if you liked what you're seeing, if you don't like what you're seeing, if you would like to see me do something in specific, and most importantly, when you see me make a mistake, because I will in fact make a mistake. Um, not so long ago, I got a comment, <laughs> it was really funny, it was, um, bro, good game, but you need to learn how to read. This is, in fact, true. Dyslexia. Am I right? Also, not kidding. Uh, so please let me know when I do just mess up with the, some sort of reading. All right. Let's see. What are we doing? Okay. So today we are continuing our... Oh, yeah, right. So please, 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 please like, subscribe, and message in the comments. All right. Today... We are going for Miles Morales' Spider-Man against what I think is one of the more harder ones in the game. Now that I've played them a couple times, is Mansion Attack from Mutant Genesis Expansion. So, yeah, this is a tough fight, and I'm posting this video out of order, just letting you know this now. I am playing this match. It is uh, June 27th. And I recently posted two Miles matches back-to-back, -back, and I have this deck ready to go. It's a leadership deck, and I just did not feel like making another deck. And honestly, I want to play one more game with Miles before I put him away for a bit and move on to somebody else. So we're going to give it a shot. We are, in fact, going to give it a shot because I do think that... I do think that... This fight is pretty hard, and I do think Miles actually has what it takes to beat the fight. He's got a good amount of stun. He's got a good amount of confuse. He's got a good amount of damage. So hopefully going to control the fight and take it from there. All right, so I need to run down and uh, make sure my daughter's all right real quick in a minute but let me do this get this set up real quick all right so what are we doing she's not alone don't worry she's uh watching tv and my mom's there but i just want to make sure she's good before i start this fight but let me just get set up and then i'll run downstairs uh okay so what do we got we got we're gonna be playing on the b side for our expert we've got everything in here right we've got mansion attack brotherhood standard and mystique we got save the school out, out here they we're shuffling all copies of, right, these are them. We're shuffling them all together and put that there. We've got some random main schemes going on. Then we are shuffling the villain deck together. Okay. And who are we going to get? We're going to get Blob. Okay. So we got Blob on his B side. He's got tough on him. After he attacks and damages a character, stun that character. So he needs to damage me to stun me. So that's annoying. And then we flip this over, right? We're done with this. Uh, all right, one reveal. Deal each player face down in counter card. Advance to the next card in the main scheme. All right, so we're flipping this. We've got the courtyard, starts with one threat on it. Blob has 19 health, that is a lot of health. Oh, and also, I have to defeat three of these fools, three of them, in order to win an expert. And starting with a heavy hitter, a blob, at 19 health is not, not something I'm looking forward to. All right, uh, so every character gets plus one attack. Good, and I will be right back. You won't even notice I'm gone. All right, and I'm back. All right, so I think we're, uh, when I left this off, we were all set up. Blob has his 19 health. All right, and as I've said before in the past, um, I usually, you usually do see me only posting wins because Usually if I lose, it's a bad a bad loss, as in like I did something dumb or I just got like a bad advance coming out. Nobody wants to see that for the most part, right? So this is in fact game one. Hopefully I could beat them on turn one. And I don't like the way the camera is slightly going to alter it up a little bit so you can see the top of that blob card. And we're good to go. All right, we're drawing six. One, two, three, four, 
five, six. I don't think I've had to redo many fights. I think I've won an okay amount on my first games, but this one, I don't know. It took me like four times to beat them with Gambit when I went after it with Gambit. All right, what do we got? We got a web shot, an energy, ready to rumble, meditation, heli carrier, and a web of life and destiny. All right, my mind is thinking. So I want to play web of life and destiny. I can't do it right now because I'm technically not a web warrior, right? Even though he is, but you know, because he's a civilian, he's not a web warrior. So we're going to wait for the flip. All right, um, I want to get out ready to rumble. I want to play a web shot. I have a lot of things here I want to do. Let's see. Okay, I think I see. I think I see what we're going to do. So we're going to play meditation first. We're going to exhaust, reducing helicarrier by three. Um, there we go. Just need some more space. Okay. Now, oh, you can't really see that helicarrier. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. I got to move this camera. I'm not, I'm not. I want you to be able to see what's going on a little bit more of the screen. Not the screen. I'm playing too many video games. Okay, you can see Helikai Rider now. I think it's because this tough is here. Let's just do that and move this up a bit. All right, cool. All right, so we did that. We got the Helikai out. Do I need to be... I don't need to be a hero for this. So I'm going to use Helikai to play Ready to Rumble, right? Now I think I can safely flip. And I've got ready to rumble and I can use it to take the tough off, which I will. So I'll, I'll spend my ready to rumble to ready. I can now put out web of life and destiny for free because I'm a web warrior. And I will attack to remove the tough. Come on, you could do it. Now I will use energy to play web shot. We'll deal four damage to him and it's going to trigger Venom Blast since I used my energy resource. Okay, so that's four damage to him. One, two, three, four. Triggering, wait, uh, triggering Venom Blast, that's two damage. And he's stunned. All right, that was a, that was a, that was a good first turn. I would have liked to get an ally out, but you can only play what you got, right? All right, so I think we're good to go. We're gonna ready up. We're drawing five. One, two, three, four. Wait, two, three, four, and five. All right. Okay, we've got two allies. One that we're not going to use, right? We know that we're only going to use this one. Oh, so yeah, I'm playing a leadership deck, right? And I have, what is it called? The one with Maria Hill on it. Basically, um... Oh my god, I can't, believe, I can't remember the name of it. Anywho, we're going to be using that leadership card to pull Spider-Man because he's too hard to, to pull by himself to, um, or across the Spider-Verse. What the hell is that card called? I feel like such a fool. All right, well, I have nothing here to help me on defense. So this is going to go to two. You're not going to attack because you are stunned. All right. And now we get our two encounter cards. All right, encounter card number one, protect the students. Okay, hang on. This is got four thread on it. What does this say to do? Hang on a second. Where's the four? Okay, there's four. Uh, the player who defeats this scheme searches their deck and discard pile for an ally and adds to their hand. I like that. Okay, so it's actually helping us, but this has a low amount of threat in it, so this has got to come off quick because that's going to go up quicker than I want to. Brotherhood beat down. Let's see. What do you do? Blob, you are stunned. Lovely. All right, well, at least I'm stunned and not confused because I want to remove some threat, but I, would, I don't want to be stunned, especially with the courtyard because I can do some good damage. All right, so... What are we going to do? We're definitely going to get Spider in, right? We also want to play Swinging In. So, how are we going to do that? 
Okay, so let's first, uh, the web shooter is gonna be good because we can get a random resource for things like swinging in. So let's use the helicarrier to pay for our web shot. And that's got three counters on it, right? Now, actually I don't think it necessarily matters. All right, we're gonna use Genius to pay for Spider. She's got two health. She's gonna come in and just dink him for one. I don't know if that's a word, I just made up dink. Uh, ding, that's the word that I wanted, ding him for one. All right, so what can we do here? We can swing in on him, actually. So I'm tempted to do that. Now the question is, is do I want to, do I want to get the stun off me or completely remove that threat? Um, actually, you know what? I'm gonna get the stun off me because I have spider for the threat. So we'll just attack to get the stun off. We will use a web shooter and Spider-Man to pay for swinging in. All right. So that removes four threat. Let's see, we can search our deck and discard pile for an ally and add it to our hand. All right, so the, okay, hang on. What are we doing? Okay, let me hit the spider camouflage ability first. Spider-Man's a tough, and Blob is confused. Okay, so now do I, who do I have here? It's just Spider-Man in my discard pile. And I don't want Spider-Man, so I'm gonna search my deck for an ally to use. And let's see, what do I have here? I've got a Helicarrier, right? What ally do I want? Obviously, Ghost Spider is great. Make the call. Make the call. Come on, Rick. Um, Otto actually might be really good to get in my hand. Yeah, I want Otto. I want Otto because... I can use the web shooter to get him to play. Otto can come in, ready it, and have me draw a card. All right. Actually, I'm, you'll see. I'm shuffling, but I'm going to have to shuffle again anyway. So I've got Otto in my hand, and since he's going to fuse, I'm, I am going to take advantage of it, and I'm going to flip so I can draw more cards, right? And now I can shuffle a Spider-Man card from my deck in, uh, back into here. And do I want web shot or swinging in? That's a big choice. Uh, let's see. Well, I've got spider for the threat control. I think I'm gonna go with web shot because he's very, like, you know, he hit, they, they hit hard and, and stopping them from activating. Although web shot can do it too, but maybe I should have gone with the web shot, but I want the damage. I will sometimes if I fall into the trap of not doing enough damage, right? So let's take that damage and, and push the fight a bit. All right, so I'm holding the one. I think we're done. And we're gonna ready up. And we are drawing six. Two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, so I don't necessarily need to think about this right now. I can give the villain his turn because I have nothing to help me on this anyway. All right, so this is gonna go to three. You don't scheme because you're confused. And now we get our encounter card. Lovely, we get another side scheme. This has an acceleration token. Uh, how much is nothing? Or, uh, place three threat on this scheme for each brotherhood of mutants. So this has got three on it. So we have an acceleration token. We have a three there. And we gotta figure out what to do. All right. I would love to get Avengers Mansion to play. And honestly, we might be able to with meditation. Change your form. If you paid for this card using a physical resource, ready your identity. Interesting. Interesting. Let me think about this. Is this an upgrade? No, it's an event. So this needs to be a hero. What I'm thinking is this, like, if I exhaust him, 
with meditation and the helicarrier that can play my Avengers Mansion for free, right? Um, then, if I wanted, I could, I could use the web shooter to flip back into Alter Ego to ready, but I don't really think that would help me. So that's out of the picture. This is really not good right now, I don't think. So I do think I want to get this Avengers Mansion out. I think that's going to be good in the long term. So let's do that. We're going to exhaust for the meditation and use the helicarrier to reduce this. Right? And now we have a mansion out. Okay. Uh, what could we do next? We're going to fix my seat. I definitely need to flip and deal with some stuff here. Um, actually, I don't need to flip, but I do, I think, because I don't want him to scheme. And I've got a tough, so that's what we want. All right. So we're going to flip. And we'll use Avengers Mansion to draw a card. Damn. That would have been good if I could have used it, but I can't. Um, okay, now we're going to thwart. Yeah, we're going to thwart for two with Spider. Bringing this to one. She's coming back into our hand. We have Web of Life and Destiny, so we can draw another card. God damn it. It's not the cards that I wanted. I have too many damn of his signature cards in my hand. All right, well, she's back in my hand. I did that. So I think... We're going to, okay, we're going to use this web shooter and the double life to pay for auto. Okay. Auto's in with two health. So after you play him from your hand, ready and upgrade. If it was a tech, which it is, draw a card. <sighs> I don't have anything that can really help me right now. Okay, but this is ready. He's in. He's going to thwart for one over here. So this is gone. And this is gone. Um, I've got a tough, so I think I don't want to use this stun yet. Let's see if I can just get some stuff on the board to help me out. Oh, Spider. I want Spider back in the game. So we're going to use these two. Mm, no, rapid response might be too damn good for some cards. Um, let's use this Spider-Man and the last web. No, 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 no. I need to save this for things like I need to save that for things like Webshot. I can't do that. This is too important. My, his abilities require specific cards. Okay, so we're actually going to use. Okay, I know what we're going to do. We're going to use these two to pay for Spider. All right, she's going to come in and she's going to ding. Ding is the word that I want. She will ding for one. She needs to remove threat from there on the next turn. Like, has to. Mandatory. Must. Then we're going to use double life to pay for the power within. Actually, this is going to resolve a Venom Blast, right? I think that's the only... I think that's the move. I think that's the move we have to make. Yeah, we're going to do that. Because I don't need to flip right now. We're going to use double life. We have no more double lives in our hand in our deck we're going to play for the power within and we're just holding this one card and we're done all right we're going to ready up and we are going to draw something up to five so two three four and five i sure as heck wish that i had that double life now for the ready to rumble everything's fine all right, this is going to go to four. Yes, I'm officially worried. This is at four, over a halfway. Um, you are going to attack now for two. Do I want to block with you right now? Or just take that tough? Two damage versus a tough. Two damage versus the tough. Actually, it would be three damage because of the plus one attack. I forgot about those. Do I want his tough to come off just yet? I mean, he can still do two damage by himself. 
also. Um, this would get that, well, regardless, I can use that. Tough choice, tough choice. Um, let's block with the auto. Right, that's what we wanna do. I think that is what we wanna do. All right, so, we're, oh, cool. Oh, you know what? Yeah, I'm okay with this. All right, we are going to block with auto, so he's hitting for two. Plus nothing. Kind of glad that I blocked with auto because to lose a two damage, to lose a tougher at two damage is annoying. Um, all right. He left play. I can draw a card. Nice. Here comes down a counter card. You've got to be kidding me. You've actually got to be kidding me. There's still only one Brotherhood, right? Oh, my God. Okay. All right. What are we going to do now? So as his turn's over, it's our turn. And my dog is barking like a maniac. Okay. I think we're going to, the first thing we're going to do is probably we refresh, we flesh. We're going to refresh the web shooter. So we'll use the web shooter to get the web shooter in, right? That's refreshed. I think we got to use the swinging in, right? So, oh, look at this. Uh, we're going to draw a card with Avengers Mansion. Ooh. I think we got to do that. All right, let's let's um, let's first remove... Okay, this is, this is, um, this just helped us a bit now. I think we're going to give up plan B. I want to get, I want to get Peter in so I can have a better view of what's actually happening. So we're going to use Helicarrier, and we'll exhaust the Web of Life and Destiny. It doesn't actually matter, right, to play the Spider-Verse. So we'll use Plan B, Helicarrier, and Spider-Verse. We're going to get Peter in. All right, that's exactly how we want to play him. It's always how we want to play him. He's got three health. <clears throat> okay. Now I think I have, a, I have a little bit better picture of what we can do. I have nothing. Oh, I can use the web shooter still, right? So I think. Hmm. I really would like to use this ready to rumble, although I don't necessarily need to use it because I don't know when or if I'll get that meditation, right? I don't have the power within, so and I don't need to heal. So I could confuse him right now, and I don't necessarily need the ready to rumble. So. We are going to, this, the Venom Blast will use after I use a basic power. All right, so this has four threat on it. And then we can resolve this. Oh, you know what though? If I resolve the Spider Camouflage, I'm technically losing a tough because he's got a tough on him. So, hmm, maybe we're not going to use this one just yet, but I'm not getting rid of it. The web shot, though, different story. Okay, so we need to control this. And we'll do it by removing two threat with spider on here. She comes back into our hand. Web of life and destiny, we draw a card. Not bad. Okay. Now, I want to clear this. So we're going to remove two threat right here, right? Then we'll use Spider-Man to remove two threat from here, bringing it to one. This is gonna ready Miles, and let's just get this out of here. Let's have a clear board, we'll move two threat again from here. This is clear now, okay? So we have a clear board, which is always, always what we want. Um, I could use this to resolve, I could have used this to resolve his Venom Blast, and maybe we will. Maybe we will, because then we can play the Arako Banatics. I don't know how to say that word. I apologize. Um, hmm. Yeah, we're not going to be able to play the Arachno Banatics, but let's let's just use this. We use the basic ability, right, to thwart. We're going to use it to stun him. Oh, um, Venom Blast, deal two damage. So he, ta he also takes two damage, and he's stunned. Okay, I think I did that correctly. 
And now we're gonna use Gwen and Ready to Rumble to pay for Spider. She'll come in with two health. She will ding him for one. And these we're just gonna hold until the end of time because this is these two are gonna let us control the flow of the battle. And this is just gonna do more damage in the next turn. So, all right, we're gonna ready up. We're gonna draw, um, oh, actually, hang on a second. Hang on a second. Before we do that, I'm noticing that I have this web shooter and I am gonna use one point on it to play this. So I can draw an extra card now. So it's gonna steal two damage to him. He is in fact stunned, so an extra three damage. So Blob has three health left. And if this goes well, right, his stun will come off on this turn. We'll get a new villain, hopefully. So we're drawing up to three, not up to three. We're drawing three more. So we got two web shots. This is um, clogging up our hand a little bit, but that's okay. This I actually kind of want again to play to get Pete back in. I want to keep him in the game as long as possible. He lets me do a lot. All right, so, oh, this is gone. I don't want to ever see that again. This is going to go up by one. You don't attack me because you're stunned. And this is our encounter card. The villain attacks you. Damn it. All right, fine, why not? Um, okay, so he's going to attack me for two. If the villain is towed... Give him an additional... No, it's not Toad, so we lucked out there. Uh, whatever, it was three, but he's got tough, so my tough comes off, and we're, we're good. We're good. We're not bad. We're in a great situation, actually. All right. It is our turn. We're going to hit Avengers Mansion. We're going to draw a card. We have Mate the Call, which is great, but we really wanted to use this for Peter, but we have him out. And we have rapid response. So my priority right now is to get rapid response into play for Peter Parker. So I'll use Helicarrier, I'll use Make the Call, and rapid response is in play now. Now I know he can come back and I can ready myself a lot. So we're, we're, we're doing well. And I don't actually think I wanna thwart with Spider just yet because it's, in my opinion, it's a wasting of a single thwart. Right, because there's only one there. So she can stay here on this turn, and we don't have to worry about paying to get her out. Uh, so let's beat up on Blob a little bit, and looks like we're going to get a new villain in a second. So, all right, we will hit him for three, right, because that's giving us plus one attack, and the Blob is down. So this now goes into... I don't know if we shuffle. Do we shuffle, or do we... Just take the next person. I think we just take the next person there. So, because we shuffled in the beginning, right? Doesn't really matter. All right, so now we have Pyro, who has 17 health. They have so much freaking health. Why do they have so much health? Okay. All right, so we got Pyro in. Two scheme, one attack. After Pyro attacks you, discard the top two cards of your deck. Take one direct damage for each printed resource this way. I don't want that because I don't want to go through my deck. I already have a little here so i am looking to stop him some way one way or another okay we're gonna find you we're gonna get you get you get you get you all right we don't need to worry about that right now so spider-man so oh each character gets plus one attack i wonder if oh shoot did i mess up when auto when did i have other people attack oh man you know what she should have been doing more damage because of that oh well Dyslexia, not reading everything. That's what happens sometimes. All right, so you're going to attack for three, right? So that's one, two, three. We're going to ready Spider-Man. I have nothing else to do, so let's uh, attack for three again. One, two, three. And let's see. Do we want to Arachno Banatics? I do not. Oh, he's not stunned, so I couldn't do that anyway. I don't think I necessarily need to flip at this point in time. Although it would be nice to refresh my... Um, it would be nice to refresh my something. I'm going to count... I mean, I, no, I'm not going to count this. It looks like I have more than six in here. So I could flip just to draw an extra card. 
If I web shot him, that's a six damage, right? It wouldn't kill him just yet. No, I don't want to swing in just yet because there's not enough threat to deal with. So we are going to web shot him. So we will use one. And we got to pay for something. Oh man, that sucks. We got to use something to pay for it with. Uh, do I have anything I can use as a resource? Nope. Uh, I guess we're going to give it the Arachnor Banatics. Even though it's five damage, this, again, this lets us control the fight when we need to. I'm going to hold on to these. So we'll deal four damage to him. One, two, three, four. We're gonna hit the Venom Blast, two damage, and we're gonna stun him. The important part there is stunning him so these don't force responses don't happen. And I think we're done. We're gonna hold on to these. You're not doing anything yet because uh, we don't need you to. All right, we are drawing up to five, so. And one more. Great, useless cards. I mean, I guess make the call is good, but honestly, we're really just going to be web shotting for the most part here. Um, unless, oh, Rick has an idea. We'll show you in a minute. You are garbage. Hate that card. Not a good card. All right. This didn't go up by two. Oh, actually, you know what? I'm not going to talk through my hand, my move just yet. Okay, that goes up by two. You don't attack because you're stunned. Oh, shoot. I always mess this up. I'm going to do this now. I was supposed to give myself an encounter card. My bad. Actually, I think we can still do it. I think it still counts, right? It's still from the previous turn. I beat him on the last turn. This would have been the encounter card anyway. Nothing happened. Good, okay. So otherwise, deal each player an encounter card and reveal the next villain. Okay, good. So there. Okay, he was revealed. This is the encounter card. We have two encounter cards to deal with. I've done this correctly. Our first encounter card is the Brotherhood. Pyro, take two indirect damage. Maybe now I do want to flip so that I can heal. I don't need to heal just yet, all right? Um, after Pyro attacks you, he did not attack me. I just took two indirect damage. Oh, Jesus Christ. All right, this has four on it. Well, now we could at least use swinging in, right? Get that off and we can flip. So there we go. We got that going for us. Oh, you were stunned, you lost that. So we need to worry about that. He has five health left. So we can get him out of here. Uh, I think the first thing we're gonna do is, you know, so what I wanted to do was make the call, right? To Otto with the power in all of us, right? Um, and that could let me draw a card, but I'm about to lose Spider. So I'm going to get her back into play with the power of all of us. So this is actually going back. This is going to go back to using a resource. So, and we kind of need it for swinging in anyway. All right. We're going to draw a card. We are going to, okay. So we can't actually move threat from there yet. So we need to use swinging in first. So we will use make the call. And we're gonna see if we can save this. We're gonna use Helicarrier so we can play swinging in. We're gonna remove four threat from the scheme, resolving spider camouflage. So four threat from here. Now we can resolve spider camouflage, which is tough and confused. Okay. So that's resolved. Now we're gonna remove the two threat with spider. Making sure we're doing this correctly. Two threat with spider. She comes back into our hand. And we draw a card because of Web of Life and Destiny. Okay, so you're confused, so we're flipping now. We're gonna be flipping in a minute. But first, we can do many things, actually. Like play spider. So we're gonna use the power in all of us to play spider. I'm not gonna mess this one up this time because now I actually care. Oh, actually, maybe I will wait. Um, just doing some math in my head. Okay, so we're gonna attack Pyro for three, right here, right, the plus one. One, two, three. We're gonna attack for two, right, the plus one. So Pyro's gone. We only need to defeat one more villain. And who we got next? Toad. He's still confused though, because he's carried over. 
Okay, so that's happened, right? Now, we're gonna use, we're gonna attack for three with spider. Oh, wait, how much health do you have, Toad? 16. Thank God, a little bit less health. So Spider-Man is gonna attack for three because still the plus one, right? So one, two, three. So he's gonna come out of the game, but now we're gonna play Rapid Response, right? Uh, we are going to put him into play and deal one damage to him. So he's coming back into play with two health. But, so he attacked on that last turn, so now we can ready Miles. And guess what we're doing with Miles? Damn right, we're attacking with three. One, two, three. Oh, look, you're ready. So we're going to attack for three with, from here. One, two, three. Oh, and what do you do? Oh, shoot, you ready Miles. Oh, look what we can do. We can attack for three. Ha <laughs> ha. One, two, three. Love that. Love you, Rapper Response. Love you, Peter. Love you, Miles. So he's only got four health left. All right, guys. Let's uh, thirty-one minutes. Let's 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 just let's just say good night. Let's just say good night. I don't need to do anything else. All right. We're just gonna use these two to play web shot. Nothing nothing fancy and special. We're gonna deal four damage to him. All right. Trigger all the things, and that is all she wrote for. The Brotherhood. All right. So that went very well. Some initial thoughts real quick. Uh, not initial. Yeah, some initial thoughts while they're fresh in my mind. You know, um, this is a very hard fight. This is a very hard fight. What made this... This actually went really well for us. Um, what made this go particularly well, if you're struggling with the Brotherhood, is that... So people like, if you make a deck that you have a lot of confuse, if you have a lot of stun, that's really, really helpful with this fight. You saw how Miles was able to control both the hero side and the alter ego side with his confuses and his stuns, right? We were able to choose when we wanted to, to flip because we knew that the villain couldn't activate. And that's the biggest thing with this fight. When they activate, that's when they do a lot of damage. So if you can stop them from activating, you're going to do really well, right? We kept the board clean. We had a lot of side schemes come up, which was worrying me a bit in the beginning. But, you know, I couldn't have hoped for a better game. So there you go. That's another one in the books. Miles, thank you very much, buddy. You know, sadly, by the time, no matter when you see this, there's no way the next movie's going to be out and I'm still going to be waiting for it. So thank you, Spider fans. See you next week. Same spider channel. Why am I doing that? Why am I even saying that? Thanks, everybody. Take care.